Yeah, hello, my brother. What's up? Yeah, this is this is um. My name is Joe. I'm calling from USA, um, New York, precisely. Um, I want to contribute. I saw this. I've been trying to like always contribute, and I'm like, all right, let me just. Yeah. This is the attitude of Ghanaians, you know. Yeah, this is Ghanaian attitude. Ghanaians, we <laughs> we are like Nigerians, but we are different. We not we just look like Nigerians, but attitude-wise, we different. We calm, but when we crazy, we don't care about police. We don't care about the law. So you see, this is a king. The community go like, hey, they said we don't want you. Get the fuck out. They kick you out. That's it. It's simple. This is Ghana, and you see. Everybody's holding cutlass, heavy matches, anything, yes. That is Ghana. They don't care. They angry, they mad. They see police, they don't care. So this is what I always say. If Nigerians try to bring their killings and stuff like that in Ghana, other communities are going to plan about them. And whenever they get anybody in murder, they're going to kill everybody. And it's going to go, and in the end, they're going to be ending up killing the innocent one or the wrong ones so every nigerian should know watch and learn from Ga these things like they should be cautious because Ghanaians, when they met it won't be good that's all i want to say there's something i noticed here Igbo people are everywhere like they spread and they became citizens of a certain land in the old days you find Igbo people in kogi you find Igbo people in Delta, of course, the Delta Igbo. And then you find Igbo people in um, Rivers, the Ikwere people. Now, the most foolish of them all is the Ikwere people. The Ikwere people, now, they will never want to agree that they are Igbo. These people can argue from nothing tomorrow. They will be arguing as if the Igbo people are evil. When these Ikwere people do bad things and you find their name in the, in the black book, that is when they want to come out and say they are Igbos. But when you find their names in good books, like they are doing well, no, they are not Igbos. They don't want to associate themselves with Igbo at all at all. For instance, now, in, in Gozi, well, now, a lot of people are saying she's not Igbo. She cannot associate herself with Igbo. Until she came out and debunked the propaganda, said that, no, her husband is from Abia, so obviously she's Igbo. That people should stop it. I don't understand. You will see these people, those, those equary people, they will do bad things. Maybe they want to go to prison or EFCC arrest them and you'll be seeing Chidera, you'll be seeing Ebube. People will be saying, these Igbo people are evil, these Igbo people are that. But if it look deep, 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 they're not Igbos. They are not at all, at all. We don't want you to be Igbo. We don't want the Equator or the Delta people to be Igbo. We are enough. Igbo people are enough. Like, <laughs> being an Igbo person, a full-blooded Igbo person, you don't know that it's a flex? It's the biggest flex of all time. Because everybody wants to be Igbo. Even the house someone wants to be Igbo. Are you capping? The Euro banner, those ones, they won't be Igbo by fire by force. Uh -uh. Be happy. Claim the Igbo with your full chest because you're Igbo. No, not like you're Igbo. You want to be Igbo, but stop acting like if it's a bad thing. Guys, US has placed 25,000 US dollar bounty on anyone who has a useful information of this guy. So this guy, a 48-year-old Nigerian, Olalekan Abimbola Olawusi, was charged with first-degree child abuse after the report said that this guy abused a three-month-old baby, three-month-old child, which over, report shows that that child has over 18 injuries. And he was charged with first-degree child abuse. He was actually released that day, Omo. Now, so uncle carry a Nigeria passport to Japa flew to Nigeria. As he flew to Nigeria, nowhere to be found. So the child was in the hospital on a life support. So now, after six months, six months later, they found that the, the child, three months old child, has a cardiac arrest. And after six months, the child died. And ever since then, this happened in 2017. And ever since then, they have been looking for this guy. Now they found that say uncle don't Japa to Nigeria, like uncle has actually flew to nigeria and now a twenty-five thousand dollars bounty was placed on anyone who has a useful information where this guy did that will lead to his arrest or more this is a pure business so 
pure business even though we we want a justice for the child and also business is involved Twenty-five thousand dollars is that almost approaches forty-three million naira. So I beg, if you know where this guy is in Nigeria, I beg. I will, in fact, I will make even the video on an anonymous. Yes, I'm not. I'm not gonna call your name, but we go share the money, okay? So if you have any useful information of Olaleka Nabimbo or Lausi, where he did, Omo Halami, send me DM. May we do this business together? To be honest, this is bad. A three-month-old baby having that kind of did, did he get mental mental issue? Even the U.S. court say that you know this this guy might be a danger to every child in nigeria or any family member he's with so he's urgently needed yeah mr niger mm. i will see you cool i was watching a Ghanaian guy we he run into you go find a nigeria guy we you go buy him food You see this thing we with the talk, eh? We just want better for Africa. We know want better for Ghana or Nigeria. We want better for Africa. And this thing are the talk, eh? Nigerians, they don't go understand the difference we the inside. They don't go understand oh, the difference we the inside. They don't go understand. When the guy run to, when the Ghanaian guy go find the Nigeria guy, we he the stay, we with the call under bridge or the, uh, yeah, we he the sleep in sec somewhere in circle, under the flyover where the guy is sleep. When the Ghanaian guy go, the Ghanaian blogger go find out. Yeah, son say. You be like you two, you get that video. You, Mr. Manager, you get that video. He asked the guy, say, Oh, I they can't find you, I don't see you. When they say you move your things, go other place. Me, Ghanaian, where are they here? Eh? Me, Ghanaian, where are they here? I just they watch the video. But I pick something inside. We Nigerians, they know half. They know if they go even account, they know half. Nigerian get character where they hurt people. Human being they hurt them. They don't know. Say that the way they, they do the hurt. And they refute. And they, refu they refuse to accept. Say whatever they are doing is good. Bad things where they, they do is good. This video make they watch the video very well. The Ghanaian go to the guy where he go find them for that flyover. Where he say the guy he answers so well, they can't find you, I don't see you. Where they say you move your thing, so now I find you. So now no, where I find you no. The followers where did they follow me? No, did they ask you say did they say make you can't find you again? They ask you say you won't go back to Nigeria or what you won't do. Then the Nigeria guy say, I know if you get a job, I go do. My parents know they are alive. Listen, oh, my parents, my parents, my parents, I repeat again, my parents know they are alive. So if you get a job for Ghana here, I go do one. The question way, the answer way the Nigeria guy give the guy, the Ghana guy be that too. The Ghana blogger. So the Ghanaian blogger want to explain to him followers. Say the thing where the guy talk be this. When the Ghanaian guy start talking, he not mention the guy his parents where they pass away because he know say if he talk that thing, maybe the guy go feel different. See the difference right there between Nigeria and Ghana. He not say if he talks to the guy, he might do. If he not say if he talks to the guy, he parents deceased or they know their life again. Maybe he don't know how the guy go feel or the followers go feel. So he cut and short say the guy, 
He say if he get job, you go do one. Where he has the guy say, what he won't eat? Gonna form a team you. Yeah, yeah. Make we we we. Yeah, man, yeah, see, yeah, man, yeah, fa ni pada se ni se. Oye ni ya. Make we accept everybody say he be our brother. No matter how Nigeria they do to us, the case they they are top. You know, be we are our top way. They 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 are top. Now they go face up. They go fit can Ghana can do whatever the bullshit they want to do. Either we arrest them or they pay the price. The price they they pay huh, for their country. They, they pay. People when they, they eat Gary, they sleep. It be Gary Nigerians they eat, they sleep. You go compare yourself to Ghana. No, I'm saying I they bought myself, I they tell the truth. It be Gary you people they eat. You know, see Gary, be like Gary not be food for Ghana. Gary, where you before they eat? Gary, Gary, Gary. Where they no gazelle? Why are they call us there? Gary no be food for Ghana. Gary, he be student their food. Gary, where you people go the humble the the, the, the press Gary. Gary no be food for Ghana. So you people no get food in Nigeria. Gary no be food for Ghana. What the fufu I want me? It will fool you. Go feel the taste, ginger, garlic, everything they inside. If you the six seven boy, you eat fufu, light soup, your sickness go go. You the follow Gary. Gary will be full starch. As the six seven Nigerian self, they eat raw starch, raw starch. You go can compare yourself to Ghana. Raw starch where you put the eat. Do uh, Roman shit. Raw starch where Nigerians they eat. You can compare yourself to Ghana. I feel sorry for that boy. But you see the way the, guy, the, the Ghana guy talk? Sensible. Sensible. Not be someone that go pipe pass. You know. He has the guy say, so now you won't stay in Ghana work or you won't go back to Nigeria. The guy say, he might not die. So you know, if you go to Nigeria, either they tell the truth or you know they tell the truth. The Ghanaian no want to temper. Say you go talk something way back, like the way the guy talk where you go hurt the guy or you go hurt the followers. Emotionally, the guy no want to repeat whatever the guy, the Nigeria guy say. The guy no want to repeat that. That is a different. You don't want to repeat the emotional side. Give the guy. So he say. Make I go get you food, then you eat. Then we we, we see the way you go move next. Somebody way they watch the guy where he get house or he get this thing. If the guy be correct guy, eh? Somebody way they outside where he built for Ghana house, so you go let the guy go go stay inside. That's how Ghanaians we are. We don't push like you people. You see, they pay me sometimes, they, they pay me the way where. We 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 cool with you people, but you they take us like say we be some stupid people where we they, we don't get sense or we don't know what time it is. That the way they pay me. That the way they pay me. You gonna insult Ghanaians where we will not come after you like that. You gonna insult where you don't know anything. You know. Look the way the guy, the, the Ghana boy, they analyze everything within a short seconds. He make the guy happy. And the watch video when somebody they pretend say oh, he, they see he be he be mad, mad person where do go the street go they ask people for food. Nigerians they pour water on the boy. For Nigeria, they they pour water on the guy. They sack the guy. Somebody say go hit him with the, if you don't come up for you, I go hit you. Because the guy be mad person. Later when the guy they discover say the guy don't be mad person, be not when they test them, the character of Nigerians. Where you can give the woman where he look after her money. It be now those where they day where they they they, they, have, they see money there. Look look the, the bushy side of you people. I finish for you. Yo, make your obibia ah uh, OTM and your uh, platform is so or channel is so 
uh, I would like to speak to, to the Nigerian bloggers living in Ghana. You people are becoming unbecoming in the country, Ghana. And you people have to put a stop off what you people think you are doing in the country. Ghana doesn't belong to Nigerians. It belongs to the citizens in Ghana. You came from Benin of recent and you came to Ghana and you are living in Ghana. You are the one who always put scarf, Ghana scarf on your head. And I have never seen you promoting any good thing in the Ghana, in the country. Always stupid things you've always been promoting in the country because you are an Igbo, so you don't think wisely. And I will not use any excuse for, or for this. No Igbo man or woman think wisely. What do you what do you call what dirty uh, dirty December? When you came to the country, did you hear Ghanaians calling their country dirty December in the country? When you mention something dirty, what do you mean? When I say something dirty to you, you people, your language, when you say something dirty, when you say dirty December, that means things that are not necessary. Things like prostitutions and all those kind of things that can be happening which are not fair. That happens in the country in December. Is that what you people are promoting in our December? And you use the word dirty December for we in our country because you people were using it in your country so you are using it dirty december in our country because you you are now in the country when the americans came in 2019 when you the nigerians by then you were not many in the country did you hear any american using that word uh dirty december in ghana the black americans did you hear any of them using those type of ways why do you people come to settle on uh, come to live in a country whereby you try you people try to be bringing all your foolish things in the country things that are not necessary is always what you people are promoting in the country Nigerian social media bloggers, what do you people think you are taking Ghanaians for? You people came just to be spoiling the country and you returned back. But the, the security, the, the, the leaders, they don't, because they have put head in their ears. So they don't want to do what? To listen to we, the, the, uh, the citizens in the country. You people came just totally to collapse the nation, just to diminish the, the nation, just to just to do all what it means to spread the nation, to tarnish the image of the land. That is what you people came for. Why do you people give Dirty December as a name to Ghan uh, for Ghanaians? for in their country when you people came have you ever heard any Ghanaian saying dirty december in in our land only you the bloggers you use this uh stupid words to we Ghanaians uh, in our december what do you mean when you when someone said dirty december what do you mean what do you mean you see what you people are promoting to the country you people are not you came with always fake mentality you came with always fake mentality 
just to come to the country you people are behaving as if oh you are helping uh, you but you are people that you are very wicked you people are very wicked you don't have any sense in your head to use that word dirty december in a uh, in, uh, for a country why can't you use a very sensible word for that december for uh, uh, the country and you use dirty december when someone said even when a nigerian said dirty december i know what you are coming for where you are coming from when a nigerian says something is dirty i know what the person is meaning what do you people do you people think you you are coming to promote the country and spoil the country huh? that according to your own speech telling people that um people will be coming to be looking for the uh, partners and this and that all those who spoke were nigerians you see their mentality you see their mentality and where it comes from the prostitution they are doing in the land you see it is the same bloggers who are promoting this prostitution and all those criminalities that is why i'm saying that Pol ghana police you propose to control the social media you people should control the social media because the nigerian bloggers are bringing kind of stupid people in the country they are promoting stupid people in the country have any good sense of humor she doesn't have any good sense of humor i've been telling you that put away the ghana scarf from your head you are not a citizen of ghana put nigerian flag on your head stupid fool no ghanaian will put no sensible ghanaian will put that scarf on his uh, his or her head and be promoting that dirty december you are talking of okay you see christmas is coming so she has used that word and the Niger all the nigerians have been using that word dirty december dirty december so that means they are promoting what stupid people to come and do whatever they, they think they can in the country you couldn't use any good word for that december in ghana than dirty you as a good sense of humor a person with good sense of humor you you people couldn't get any good word for we Ghanaians in our celebrating of our Christmas in December than you people all to be using dirty December. Dirty December. Mumma mo chen mwate mu nimyansa. Because even you people, when you people were young, they didn't tell you sensible things, so you people couldn't have any good sense of humor. The same implies to your parents. because it is a manual the way they program you it's how you grow up when you are planting a tree and that when when you plant a tree and the tree is growing and i the one who plant the tree when the tree is burning and i don't split it the tree will grow and burn so that means i the person that i'm watering the plants and always uh seeing the plant burning and if i not uh straight the uh, the tree that means i'm also the same like the uh, my uh, my, uh, my tree which i'm planting 
because I'm also bent. How can I go and trim something that uh, is burning? I'm the same person like the, uh, the plant. So you people are the same like your, your parents. You people don't have good, good manners. You people don't have it. You people have turned yourself like evils. Evils. This is how your, your mentality is. Everywhere that you people go, your evil doing in your country is where you people try always to bring it to the other country to spoil the country. What is the meaning of the dirty that you people are using for Ghana in December now? If we people doesn't stop you for that, then you'll be hearing that every year, then every country the worldwide will be saying that 30 December is when they immediately they mention 30 December, then they they attack Ghana. That means it is Ghana, they always do this kind of stupidity things there. Now in BBC, they have been always giving news that all the Asao and all Oloso people coming to Ghana doing the most prostitution uh, country in Africa, Ghana is number one. And all the people, the 78% uh, of the prostitution, uh, uh, those who come to do the prostitution in Ghana are from Nigeria. Are from Nigeria. And you see how she is sitting in front of her. It's not only this Ella. But she is the one who is promoting it now. And there are some others who are also using the same word, Dirty December, as Nigerian bloggers. Because in their country, they were having it Dirty December there. And that was where they were doing the stupid things. And now, their country is, uh, is no more functioning. So in Ghana, they are coming to promote Dirty December. You see, Ghanaians? the mentality of nigerians whereby when always we are speaking you people doesn't want to listen to what we are saying when americans came when always they come to december they come uh, december for parties and all the, they say oh africa i'll be going to afrochala i'll be going to uh, afriki call this, this, this have you had any american using a word dirty december in ghana please my fellow ghanaians have you ever heard of any black american using the word even dirty december in uh, uh, even in uh, on social media when the person even wants to go to ghana in december and the person is even blogging have you ever heard any american or even American who is living in Ghana who wants to celebrate the December using the word dirty December. Ghanaians, these Nigerians, by next year, as we have been spoken, we have to make it very quick. We have to drive them, including even their Igbo, that woman called Ize. We have to drive them away from the country before it's too late. Immediately next 2025, immediately we have to drive each and every one. It doesn't matter who the person is. We have to look, you this Alang Bagben, you this Alang Bagben. I'm coming to you. You were the one who went to stand and telling uh, uh, the ministers that they should uh, reform the retail business for the Nigerians also to be. Uh, Alan Bagman, are you out of your senses? Alan Babin, do you, I, I don't know whether he's called Alan Babin or uh, uh, are you out of your senses? This man, you people have to take this man out. This man doesn't th uh, think of the citizens. 
he doesn't think of the citizens when you come to Europe they have European Union but when you need a job it doesn't matter you are in the European uh, country they ha the country that they even like to give you the job they have to look for their citizens before even if they don't find them they will even find a person who is in the European country before even an African you are coming to tell us that we and Nigerians are one who told you that we and Nigerians are one we Ghanaians here, we, we the Ghanaians in the foreign country, we are helping our economy to grow, not Nigerians helping our economy to grow. When the politicians need money to do politics, they always come to Europe countries to be asking of the party members to be contributing for them. Then they collect maybe ten thousand or something from Europe, uh, from uh, England, uh, ten thousand maybe. Uh, 50,000 pounds from uh, from uh, from uh, England, they go to US this, 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 when you people finish collecting all this money, doing the politics then you people will come and tell us that we and Nigeria are one you people don't have sense you people don't have sense Alan Babin, you, do, you don't have manners, you people have to take this man off you people have to take this man off. If you can react like this, then you expect Nana Ekufuado to also to sign that we, we don't have to also... Uh, hey, did, did this man even think before even uh, he, he went to sit uh, to, to stand, uh, stand there and say all what he said? Huh? Are you out of your senses or what? You don't think of your citizens, eh? You think of foreigners more than your citizens. Maniama. When Kwame Nkrumah was fighting for independence, you Alan Babin, where were you? Where were you? When our ancestors were they were fighting for the for the uh, for Ghanaians, where were you? Where were, were Nigerians? Where were, were Nigerians? Alam, this Alang Babin, you get one special audio. I'll, you you get it. Today is for the Nigerian bloggers doing dirty. De look, you are in a country, and look at what I'm robbing and all those type of things that is going on. Have you ever been to the? Uh, to, to your place even to discuss about it because you support nigerians they have been giving you money and you people always close your eyes and say any, say anything that negativity about we the citizens eh? you people always try to be doing what to be doing things to favor uh, foreigners aren't you people f stupid and, and aren't you people ashamed Damn, this Aram Babin is doing there. I have never come across to this audio uh, video till yesterday. Somebody sent this video to me. Foolish people, you are making your citizens to be suffering. What what kind of jobs are you people creating for the citizens? What kind of jobs? we the people in the foreign countries bringing things also to, to the economy to, to be selling them and you are still trying to be making us to be suffering and you are making the nigerians to be having more benefits in our country what are you people telling us and when it gets to the uh, election time the, the parties will be traveling to europe and collecting money from their party members in uh, the european countries are you people you Ghanaians also living in the diaspora are you people stupid or what always by give, contributing money to giving to the your parties aren't you people thinking enough of your families 
What are the parties doing for you? Look at what the stupid thing that Alan Babin is saying. And look at what stupid thing, some of the things that uh, the president is even doing also there. When they kidnap someone or they kill someone, do any of the ministers, even including the president, does anybody even come to, uh, to make a, a, a conference and speak about it? Why are you people so wicked to the extent that you people are trying to be collapsing the, the country? Why? By next year, let's see who will say that Nigerians cannot go. We said Nigerians must leave Ghana. Nigerians must leave Ghana. The flyers are, are flying around the circle, the universe. It is on a, a plain paper, like a flyer. It is circulating. It is rotating. If the Igbo king has never seen it with the wife, they should start packing now. Due to it is there. Due to it is there. The reason why we don't like Nigerians in our country, it is there. We have it. And let's see. Pasiam Penny B or so eating or a gangaria or Becca say, Yank me mal at a phone We will see. So won't a woe then would you mind see how my ye befe. So what what beji or mine essi ho edi a favor or a hop wo a eti mine so mumedin or mumedi so or mon sell mano she I'm robbery I'm robbery daylight I'm robbery Ah ye ye ewo or mine Alam Babin and wen who a president a kufwadu wen who wen jmi a me a ka asimbiya amfa ho Ana? Won jmi a me ka asimbiya amfa ho Eno alambabin won jmi a hun a me jina Bebi anka Nyansa simbi ama obi a se Ampa alambabin Nyansa o nitim Nye ebe bo o man fo E yin e fo mono Ene na o ye den O be kan e Na se bi o ka frache Smenti ni u kimu ni yin kan che o se U u lo a yi ki wa En ka o be ba be kasa a se mou Ha? You the leaders You people have to Rewind your IQ Including 99% of the chiefs and the king In the country you people have to rewind your IQ, your, your IQ. You people have to rewind it because it seems it is down. As you people are growing, it is getting down. You people have to re rewind it because where you people are taking the country to, you people are collapsing the country. Okay. All right, thank you. Uh, remember, we still have a lot of uh, video to uh, audio to play, but I think that one will be my next video. Uh, if you know, so you don't hear your own in this one. Don't be angry because I'll I'll play the rest and uh, in my next video. Okay. So I just want to appreciate everybody. Thank you. Bye bye for now. If you want to reach out to me, look at my bio. My WhatsApp number is there. What do you, what message do you have for the people? If you have any message, look at my bio. My WhatsApp number is there. You can send us any message you want to send. Thank you for now and bye bye. No for God. Subscribe to Master Manager Niger News. Subscribe, okay. Subscribe.